I've been off of social media for about a month now, a little over a month. Uh, here's my experience with it. Today was the old pole day, so I definitely gotta, gotta check the pump here. I bicep curled more than that I do usually, so I kinda pushed myself just a little bit, but physique looking pretty good. Dude, it legit looks like a cobra, bro. Yeah, I don't know how to pose my back, to be honest with you. Biceps coming back again. Kinda lost it there for a while, but we're getting back into it. Very excited. I did three back workouts and one really hard bicep set, I guess, bicep curls set. Went up to 70 pounds, which is uncharted territory for me. I've done more than that in machines, but like, it's much different when it's just like free weights. I don't know if you can see that we're getting the cross vein back. I can't lie to you guys, my right wrist is a little sprained. I think I got it sprained last year and now it's back again. I, I hope I don't snap it or anything. So I don't want to make this uh, conversation a little, a little bit more interesting instead of just sitting in my house and talking to you guys, but it is a little cold, so I might have to go inside. I'm not going to lie. I want to preface this conversation by saying that, like, I'm not 100% off of social media because if you count YouTube as social media, I'm pretty much still, like, in it. I guess all I'm doing on YouTube is just, you know, doing the usual, just watching some, you know, the videos that I like to watch. But for the most part, I'm pretty much off of it. TikTok, I haven't been in TikTok in a long time. The last time I was in it was just I wanted to upload a singing video. Really not on it. Like, my friend sends me like some videos sometimes i watch it but i don't snapchat nah. for my experience it's just been overall like a like it's just been a positive thing one month off of social media it's been this is just my experience i'm not telling you guys to get off of social media or anything but like uh, this is just kind of how i work and kind of what what it has made me become you know being off of it it's like i said it's just been a positive thing so going back like couple years ago well starting when i you know when i had a phone i was pretty much on social media i would always like focus on school but like when there's dead time i'm always on it you know what i mean um for the longest time there it was just youtube and instagram it just started recently like i'd say about a year ago i started getting into TikTok, even though i said i never would it started off as just being like uploading videos like singing videos and then it became something to just watch and pretty much a distraction from like the stuff that i actually am supposed to do leading to that i've just been like less productive and not like actually focusing especially at the time since i was doing like lifting and stuff it made me a slave to you know to doing this all the time you know what i mean gonna warm it up a little bit it's kind of cold out there 21 degrees i could not have picked a worse time to like record like i said it started off with youtube with snapchat and everything and trying to keep up with everyone trying to keep up with snap streaks trying to keep up with what's going on with everybody that i used to know i'll get to it later but at the end of the day it's really not like that important you know it's funny because for a while there like when the whole tiktok thing exploded i was always telling myself like hey i have, i will never never get on tiktok right and then for a while i started watching youtube shorts and i enjoyed that a lot i just opened up youtube and i just started scrolling pretty much it's pretty much tiktok man and in the beginning of 2023 that's when i started like uploading the singing videos like i said i got some success from it and then i just stopped i just stopped uploading singing videos tiktok for me just turned into just another scrolling thing it wasn't productive it was a form of distraction like it wasn't like productive distraction if you're on my wavelength it wasn't it was pretty much just a pattern time you know at the time I loved doing it because because at the time I was going through stuff and you know it pretty much like took up like most of my day it became like a tunnel until nighttime came and nighttime would be when I sleep there was a good amount of 2023 where I pretty much just woke up maybe went to work but most of the time I was just scrolling go home go to bed I was still doing the workout stuff and then over time it just started like like decreasing and on top of scrolling i was trying to keep up with the stories on snapchat i was trying to keep up with the stories on instagram i was trying to keep up what's going on on instagram really just like stuff that it, it didn't really matter to me pretty much the whole of 2023 was like that you know it made me become just like a zombie pretty much i wasn't happy with where i was i wasn't happy with you know like my body i guess because you know i started losing because i started losing muscle and i was kind of going through it again 
towards like the end of 2023 and then it's pretty much like a full circle again I, I was down about you know not having like the best body that i could have because of that started going on scrolling again not even just like my workout stuff not even just my body i'm even talking about this youtube stuff it like prevented me from like doing this whole youtube stuff because you know at the end of the day this is actually what i want to do no matter what it just gave me no time and this isn't to say that it was entirely social media's fault in general. Like, I didn't have the self-discipline to be like, hey, I, I need to get off of this because this isn't, like, improving my life in any way. And in starting the beginning of this year, I pretty much turned that around. It's made me just, you know, better in general. On top of, like, being a distraction, it's ruined my perspective on a lot of stuff. People. It's ruined my perspective on, let's say, relationships. It's ruined my perspective on everything. And it created a lot of anxiety. Even though my whole idea of social media at the time was just, like, a distraction from my anxiety and mental health and stuff, it pretty much made it worse. So yeah, starting last month, I pretty much turned that around. It's been the best thing that, it's, like, I could have ever done. There's a lot of positives to it if you want to join me on the journey, but... If you were to take away anything from this video, it's pretty much just to say that that having no social media in my life anymore just made me more overall productive. And that's kind of the base of it and how I look at it. Being productive just kind of like domino effects into everything else that, I, that I'm dealing with and stuff. Lifting, training, the YouTube stuff, and stuff that will lead to somewhere rather than just and with being productive, it's been, it's just kind of, like I said, it's a domino effect. It gets me distracted in a positive way. It's built me confidence. It made me believe that I can actually do the stuff that I want to do. I didn't think I could upload 30 days in a row. 31 let alone and here i am i'm still trying to build on confidence because i i don't have it fully this past month i've just been kind of like distracting myself with the right things and those things you know help with anxiety i'm going to continue to do it like i said it's just my perspective but like to me there's just no point to me it's just there's no point in social media it hasn't like improved me positively to me at least i keep saying that but it's just like it's true it's just it's just to me if you don't agree with it then it is what it is. You go do your thing, man. I ain't gonna stop you. I'm gonna continue to do it. I'm gonna give you guys updates on like some certain landmarks, like let's say six months or something. The world is full of, you know, me, me, me. I'm starting to realize that. And it's like, if the world is like me, 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 then, you know, I ain't gonna mess with stuff that doesn't benefit me. Jesus, that was a long talk. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to some Project 50 stuff. So I actually was just at the gym. I discovered these two guys that are actually like, they're, they're older guys and they're, they kind of took me under their wing and we started doing some like some uh, some pad work and kind of boosted my confidence a little bit because they're like, yeah, yo, bro, you're actually like a natural. And I'm like, well, thank you. I wanted to time my training alongside like whenever the sun is about to set and everything. I was actually about to catch a sunset, but I just couldn't. On my way to the mall right now, I'm gonna go get some prime because we're starting to, the supply is low. This ain't a song for the bro. We are happy today, boy. Got the greatest prime flavor of all time. And you also got some creatine monohydrate and it's really cheap. Next up now, I have a list here actually. Okay, just a couple of things from Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I look in her eyes and that's where I find How am I supposed to let you go? Only lie to myself when I'm with you Cause he seems like he's good for you Flashing lights is all she ever wants to do Alright, I'll skip this one today. Sorry, I was... <laughs> As I eat the old grubberoo here, got some of the leftovers from yesterday from GP's. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I went to GNC and Walmart, and um, from GNC, I got, like I said, I got the creatine monohydrate. And also got like a case of Prime. It's in the car, but let's talk about Walmart real quick. Got a whole thing of socks because like I always run out. Socks, socks it is. And also we got some tongue scrapers. There's 30 of those, so I'm good for about 30 days, right? Got really nothing else left to talk about other than I'm just gonna eat and then just enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys actually enjoyed it. Actually, by the way, I wanted to talk about the Super Bowl video. I don't know why, but it's taking off a little bit. It's kind of like almost 800 views now. Not too shabby. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video, by the way. Um, just a quick little special one. By the way, I'm going to eat this food and edit. Have a good night. Pretty much. Peace.